Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. I've been out of commission for a couple of weeks now, and I apologize for the long absence, but I am trying to jump back into it, so I decided to do something fun for this video. I have had this kind of slotted spoon for a while. I got it from the dollar store, and I just really think it'd be fun to pour through and just see what happens. I have a couple of ideas, but for today I'm just going to do a dirty cup where I pour all the colors into one cup and then pour it through and just see if it changes the way that the colors come out. I decided to go pretty simple and do primary colors and white because I love how blue, red, and yellow can mix and make lots of other colors. So I'm going to start by filling this cup up and then we will go from there. So as I'm pouring, I'm realizing this might be the best video to do with a slotted spoon because I think there's a lot of chunks in my red. Unfortunately, I haven't used the red and yellow in a while, so I'm a little worried that there might be chunks in both of those. So hopefully the spoon will catch some of those. Okay, so the spoon looks really cool, but we got a muddy mess in here. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt it out, see if anything cool comes of it, and we'll see where we can go from there. If it's too muddy, I can always pour over it later. I really do love the spoon, though.
So this actually turned out really pretty. It kind of looks like a kaleidoscope. I'm hoping it doesn't dry too dark because there's not a lot of light colors in here and there's a possibility of that, but I do see some cells opening up, so maybe we'll get a little bit more white peeking through. We're going to let it sit for a little while and then we will take a closer look. Here we are. It has been probably about 10 minutes and I do see that some white has popped up, little tiny dots of it. So let's take a closer look. Start up here. This is pretty cool with the yellow kind of curving over the edge like that. And we go across, and really it's hard to point out specific areas because it's all so chaotic, but I just think it looks really cool. Those little dots of bright red in there are pretty neat too. I kind of like that the blue looks like the background color almost. I mean, not in all parts, but it's kind of neat. It looks like it's glowing from underneath. And then here's the middle. So the kind of muddy part is mostly kind of like a gray purple, and I think it still looks pretty cool. I think since we have some areas that aren't muddy, it might work but we'll just have to see when it dries. I am trying to get better about posting the dry paintings on my Instagram account, so feel free to take a look over there, and if I forget to upload it, you can go ahead and let me know. I'm trying to get back on track with everything overall. So anyway, I think that was a really fun technique. I'd like to try it with colors that won't make mud next time, so maybe blues and whites, or yellow, red, and orange, something like that, where it would look kind of cool if you get some of those colors just combining. What do you think about this painting? Let me know in a comment down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.